Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the topic of how you can transcribe uh, video or audio files um, and a variety of different ways to do that. For this particular example, uh, it'll be transcribing it with the intention of adding closed captioning uh, to this YouTube video from my channel. Um, just kind of some definitions ahead of time because I know there's some confusion. Uh, pure transcription. I would typically just use if I had you know, a long interview uh, or a focus group or something where I want to take an audio or video file uh, and then have it transcribed into text that I can then create you know, a long form blog post or I could uh, you know, send notes to a product marketing team or whomever off of you know, like a long customer interview that you'd otherwise have to sit through. Um, so that's really just purely trying to take audio or video and then turn it into text. Um, whereas subtitles or uh, closed captioning is where I want to, dis to display uh, at the bottom of a video, which is what we're doing here, uh, what is being said. The primary difference between subtitles and closed captioning, um, although in places like YouTube, uh, they'll include them together like you see here, uh, is that closed captioning includes all of uh, what is going on within a video, uh, as opposed to subtitles, which will typically be used for people speaking a different language, so taking uh, a, an English video and subtitling it in Spanish or vice versa. Uh, closed captioning will include everything, so like background noises and all the ancillary stuff typically used for uh, the hearing impaired. Uh, so in this particular video, it will be closed captioning, but I'll show you a variety of different ways that people uh, can transcribe and create subtitles, closed captions, etc., and which ways that I recommend. Uh, so here's my video in the back, and I'll show you the, uh, the first and um, most basic way is by default I don't have uh, closed captioning turned on as you can see and then if I change it here using the setting from off uh, to the English auto-generated one because YouTube videos will auto-generate um, captions for you you can now see that they're popping up along the bottom here but once this video begins Hello everyone, Danny Lambert with Plus Republic here continuing the MailChimp series you'll notice uh, the relative inaccuracy of the, uh, the default auto-generated um, closed captioning on YouTube. So I'll go into this video, which is right here. Oops. Let's click there. Go to the subtitles slash CC. Uh, and you'll see that auto-generated uh, closed captioning that they provide for you. So within here, uh, I can come in and I can manually edit this which again, you know, is, is totally plausible if you have a lot of time on your hands. You could come in here and either download the file uh, like this, uh, give you an SRT file which you would open up, you would manually make the edits, and then you could re-upload that file uh, to add more accurate closed captioning. But you can see even for like a short video of four minutes worth, uh, there's a decent amount. If you make a good amount of video content, this probably isn't uh, a very scalable option for you. Um, so you, again, you can either edit it in line here, uh, and sorry, I click edit, and I can edit in edit it in line here, or I can download it and re-upload it, and then I'll have those closed captions. Uh, something that's pretty popular that you'll also see people attempt when they're trying for a free method uh, is to use a um, a Google Doc like this. So if I have the Google Doc open on one side and this video open on the other. Some people use the Google Docs uh, voice to text feature. So if you click tools and then you come down to voice typing and I click play on this video and then record here, uh, you'll start to see it automatically transcribing that using, using voice to text. So I'll go ahead and start this up. Uh, this next video is on how to create a segment within your audiences. So what a segment allows you to do, especially on the free plan where you're only allowed to have one audience, is then break that. So you'll notice now that that voice transcription uh, tool within Google Docs uh, started to, to record that. This tends to be highly inaccurate and you'll need to do a lot of manual correction. It also won't have the time codes, uh, so you'll have to do all of 
uh, that additional adding in uh, and markup to be able to eventually use this for subtitles and closed captioning. Um, but if you want a really uh, inexpensive, I guess technically free way to just transcribe it and you don't care about accuracy that much, uh, technically you could use this method, uh, and some people do. Uh, two other options that you have are to use Fiverr and Upwork, uh, but that's a very manual process where you'll need to go put a job out there, uh, you'll need to get responses, you'll need to vet them, there's varying degrees of quality, uh, and overall it ends up costing more money than just going with a paid transcription service, which is my uh, most highly recommended method for doing this, especially when you have lots of video content. Um, and my method of choice would be rev.com. Um, this is nice because there are some other uh, video and audio transcription services that are a little bit faster, potentially speaking, um, but they are not nearly as accurate because this is human verified and theirs are not. And also recently Rev has release the ability to do uh, automated transcription as well. Um, so you could use them for the automated or uh, the manually uh, verified. So within here I have that transcription like I talked about, but in our case we're gonna be doing uh, captions. So I've already uh, created an account and logged in, but when you come in here it tells you, you know, you'll pay $1 per video minute, uh, a guaranteed 24 hour turnaround time with 99% accuracy, uh, and they go through the whole process of how it works. Uh, ways in which you can receive or submit your file, all those details which you can run through. Um, but it's very simple to just get started. I'll go ahead and click in here, uh, and I'll have three options. I can upload the actual audio or video file, which is um, particularly good if I haven't already uploaded it somewhere, like it's not on YouTube yet, and I wanted to get this before this content goes live. Uh, if it is publicly available, I could just uh, come into the YouTube video itself, grab this link, uh, copy and paste it here, and submit it. But my favorite method, if you use YouTube or Vimeo, is I can actually uh, authorize my account uh, via Rev, and they will do the trans uh, the closed captioning, and they'll automatically attempt to upload the closed captions once they're finished for me, so I don't even have to do that. Um, so that's the method I'm going to select, although you could use any one of these three. Uh, so I'll come to YouTube. I will find where my account lives, which is right here. It'll ask me to authorize this, which I will. And then from here, I can search all of my uh, videos from my channel. So I know this one is on how to create a MailChimp segment. So I will click that, and it's this video in the middle. I will add this to cart. And then from here, uh, you just have a couple different checkboxes that you can select or not select, uh, being add foreign uh, language subtitles. If I want this in Spanish or whatever else, uh, whatever, uh, whatever language I may want, I can click it there. Uh, automatically deliver the files back to YouTube, so this is what I was just talking about. I want them to attempt to um, add that file for me to my YouTube channel so I don't even have to, which is really helpful if you're doing you know, 20, 30 videos at a time or whatever you may be. Uh, this is very nice in the time saver. And then you can pick the file format that you want it delivered in. SRT is the most popular for closed captioning, um, so that's what I would pick. And then they have... Um, for your own tracking purposes, like this reference name that you can name it, but I'll just won't select that. It's just additional information. And then from this point, I'll check out, and this will be returned back to me as an SRT file and uploaded to my YouTube channel uh, within a day's time at the latest. It, it gives you on another screen what their average return times are based on their weight. So like a, a zero to five minute video, uh, how long you can expect to be waiting, etc. Um, but it's guaranteed within under 24 hours, and it's automatically going to go uh, to my YouTube channel. So I'll go through this checkout process and then I'll show you what that returned uh, product looks from Rev. Uh, and you can make up your mind around which transcription or audio cl uh, closed captioning or subtitling service you'd like. Um, but this would probably be the most accurate, the most timely. Um, and the other ones, you know, some in inexpensive alternatives uh, should you be tight on money or should you have, you know, a lot of extra time on your hands to be able to do it that way. So I uh, took a quick shower, or well, ran to the gym, took a quick shower, uh, and in roughly 10 hours or so, uh, I got an email from Rev saying that they've returned the, uh, the file for the video that we're working on. So now when we hop back in here and I refresh this page, see these brand new closed captions. So just like that, all I had to do was submit that uh, video on Rev, and within 10 hours they had a perfectly closed captioned um, video, and they've already uploaded it to the video on my behalf, so I didn't have to come in here and upload it. 
uh, should you want to see what is in that file, make edits, download it, etc. Uh, when you go back to your account and you click My Files, uh, you'll then see that video right there and the status that they have. And then when I click on it, uh, they have this really, really convenient uh, editor right here. So if I found any errors in it when I was watching it, which they have 99% you know, accuracy, so it's very rarely anything. Usually it'll be something about like a brand's name spelled wrong or something along those lines, if anything. Uh, you can come in here, you can edit those, uh, and then I can immediately re-upload it to YouTube. I can share it with anyone else in my department if I want them to review, or I can then download uh, that into these various different uh, file types, whichever one that you prefer. Uh, so they have a bunch of other various settings in here which you can go through in your own time. Um, but just as a recap, these are kind of the various options that you can use for transcribing and doing subtitles and closed captioning. My recommendation is Rev for all of the above, whether you want the automatic uh, transcription, which is almost immediate turnaround, uh, that's I believe at 15 cents a minute. Uh, if you want uh, in-depth, manually verified uh, transcriptions or closed captions like I showed you here, uh, that's at a dollar per minute with automatic upload um, and revisions as you see here. And then your other options if you want to go uh, the less expensive route is to use the default auto-generated ones from YouTube which you'll need to adjust and fix. Or if you're trying to transcribe uh, a longer video that's not on YouTube, you could always use a Google Docs uh, voice to text tool. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's any other videos that you'd like me to make on the topic. Have a great day.